Hello, welcome back. Last time Omplik Beam Turn Order happened, it was not a good time. <laughs> However, this room should be. I remember this one actually being really neat. Uh, be throw away the eight watchers. Blah blah blah. Thing that everybody says for some reason. Uh, I guess you do watch things. That's what Beethro had to say. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... What's the goal here? Hi, Briars. You're gonna need to grow across some doors, probably. To open those for some reason, to do something. So I remember the main mechanism in here. Kind of. Uh, all the evil eyes have to make it through. Let's just let's just do this and see what happens. Demonstrate where the problems are. It looks as though I got them in exact turn order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is not what I ultimately want. Um, yeah, let's not worry about the mechanisms along the way. Just watch what happens. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, so how do I interact with this? With you, maybe? Okay. So that's going to release those. This will halt them. So if I wanted to... That'll stop them in place and ensure... Okay, so those, those are ortho squares on yellow doors. If I halt them... Okay, it's that that's highlighting. This is already very bright, so it was hard to see it lighting up in a not dissimilar color to what it already had. Ah, so the briars have to grow over that for me to get out. I can't even look at the rest of this room without um, all this happening. So they have to be distributed like that. Okay, um, so in order to see more of this puzzle, I should put them in reverse order. Okay, should be simple enough to do. I mean, if I want to do it slowly, I can do it like this. If I want to do it faster, I can maybe do it like that. Kind of. Uh, but that will change the order there, so I need to at least give it a moment when I do that. Alright, so that should be exactly reverse order. Everyone is as slow as possible. So as fast as possible is not the answer. I happen to know that as slow as possible is also not the answer. It should get me through this, though. Alright, so I use this orb to halt the evil eyes on the plates so that briars can have a chance to finish growing. So they just have to be momentarily spaced correctly for this, uh, but they don't have to stay that way the whole time, because I can wait for this. Whole lot of waiting here. I don't know why all the pits are necessary. I guess just to be sure that you really have that formation right. Wait a long time so, to make sure it's, it's stable like that. Oh boy, and then they move. Okay, I don't think that means anything. That's fine, they can move. Right? Oh, and then this happens. I can move them into... Okay, that complicates things. Okay. What reopens these? That does, and this does. Okay. So this is how the puzzle continues. Wait, how did you get through there? Uh, because you were stalled, okay. So you couldn't go north, but you were earlier in the turn, turn order, so you, you went uh, east instead. I mean, I can, if I want to, prevent that by doing this. So I have some influence over that. This will do that for some reason. That will do... okay. There we go. Okay, I'm over here now. What does this? Nothing? That's just there forever? If anything is lighting up when I click that, I'm finding it impossible to see. Perhaps it was that. Because I have eliminated a mechanism in this room already. No, nothing, nothing interacts with that. Okay. 
Wait. So anyway, if I break that orb, I can bring some evil eyes in there if I desire. That'll happen, whatever. Just let them do what they're gonna do. This is a lot of stuff. I don't really get what any of it means at this point. I knew once, long ago, and I don't currently. Uh, which way does My this go? There. Okay. His name is Bethro, by the way. So I have a similar thing down here, where I probably want to let these briars grow so that I'm let out and stuff happens. Okay. That's almost good, but it's off by one. So those briars can't grow because you're not on this. If they had... You need to be through there already? What's this? What is any of this? So at some point, this reduces to a very nice little um, number constraint puzzle. But, I, but I, the process I remember doing here, it's figuring out, like, what does each of these express in terms of what the move order has to be? Like, there's a different requirement here compared to this weird gate, compared to this weird gate. Where basically what I ended up doing was I labeled each evil eye uh, with a letter. So from A to B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So A to H. And then, um, at some point, if I understand these mechanisms, I can phrase this as, for example, like, um, A has to be earlier in the move, move order than C in this situation. Uh, C has to be later in the move order than B in this situation. And then that just reduces to a, a thing I can solve in a text file. Because once I have all those constraints listed out, then I can figure out what an actual move order that fits those patterns is. That's the process I wanted to do today, but in order to get there I have to understand what the mechanisms even are here. Like, what does this imply for the... the order of everybody? Did I ever step there? Have I ever used that? Yes. How did this open? I am looking everywhere on the screen and nothing that I see is lighting that up. I guess I don't use this and it's just for symmetry? Okay. Do I use that? No, because that's permanent. What? Why? Okay, well this is, this is arranged very strangely. So ignore these two orbs because they are completely inaccessible no matter what you do. Okay. All right. Um, so what are the mechanisms? So these are the main ones. Then there are some secondary ones like this shift through here and all of this nonsense. How do I even think about this? All right, so this is a big mess of pressure plates to parse, but I do actually have to parse them and understand them. Uh, how do I get over there? If I do this, that takes me there. And this... Activates fire traps, so that's how the evil eyes die. And the way they get there is that I stand here. Okay. But all the doors have got to be open first. Which means both of the briar patches need to grow. Okay. So, again, what does this mean? What are these for? Okay, so these all open with that. It will necessarily happen while I'm standing here, but if I have this closed, I don't have to move any evil eyes through there. If I kept them in this passage, that would never open. So at least one does come through here. If it were just one, it would get itself stuck there and wait for somebody to do this. Once that's been done, this opens and this closes. So I need you to get through here before that happens? How do I turn this into a nice clean thing that I can solve in a text file, though? Like, this is just a big mess. 
so hang on let me try so what specifically was wrong with reverse turn order that door does not close until another evil eye has seen me I know you I could trial and error this because there's only so many combinations. well there are eight of them um, there are a lot of combinations eight factorial is well as many as eight factorial is um, don't happen to know that off the top of my head. So, let's just watch this again. I can wait longer. I can wait this long. Okay. So, right. Briars grow. I don't have to allow anyone to move, except I do because somebody needs to step there. How many need to do that? Is Does it need to be specifically just one... I don't know that, but I don't know that it doesn't. So that happens. These proceed. What does this do? Close that. Not that it would ever be open. That's completely impossible. So thanks for the extra plate connection, making this just that much harder to parse. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is definitely impossible for this connection to this door to ever do anything. Why is it there then? I mean, really, you're going to just give me extra stuff that I have to ignore in my solution. That's just so rude. And I mean, you've already done it with these orbs. Why have you done this? <laughs> All right. So disapproval of that aside, this allows access to that, which was previously closed, and that's the only thing that interfaces, interacts with it. Does this close by anything? No. So at some point, I guess I want to do... Ah, okay, so these all have to be bunched up here. That's how it is. Um, I can go this way. They all have to be bunched up because... Uh, no, no, that's a, that's a single-use pressure plate. So I need to stay there. I can't proceed from... Okay, so I need to wait here until everybody has made it there. So I can... I must pull out a minimum of two from here to here. At least two evil eyes have to be there, because otherwise one would be remaining there, no matter what I did here, and it would get stuck, and I couldn't move it through there. Probably. Unless I got all the way here and manipulated it with that, but that sounds unlikely. So having done this, I have these in here to do that. I now have just one over there who's never going to make it out. Okay, so it's not a minimum of two, it is exactly... Well, yeah, it is exactly two or one. It's either one or two, so it's a... Yeah, it is a, a minimum of two because of this, and a maximum, a maximum of two because of this. Yeah, so there's no way I can get you out now. You're trapped forever. Because both of the things that can open either door that would let you get anywhere are permanently closed. And I'm not going to be rotating you all the way around there because I can't get back to the west of here until the room's clear. Unless there's a sneaky tunnel that I'm not seeing, but I don't think there is. Okay, so with that one evil eye stuck. Alright, so and then the way that this worked out is that the first two eyes that came out of here... All right, so the operation that happens here is that two eyes get pulled out of the middle of this somewhere, then get reinserted at the front. Wait, what's supposed to open this? That. So wait, somebody's supposed to make it there before... Hold on. What? What are you saying to me? Something that seems like an impossibility... Was somebody supposed to go through here? They can't. That's closed. You know what? Wait, 
Wait, I've, I've had evil eyes in here. How'd that ever happen? I can't go all this way. Do you do something useful? I mean, oh, okay, so you. Did I just not see that? Probably. How was that? This opens that. Okay. So again, irrelevant plate con con uh, connection. Thanks. So I must ignore this plate's connection to this door and this plate's connection to this door. <sighs> How annoying. But okay. That's what I have to do. All right. So these sp spool themselves up. Um... I can affect things like, let's see, oh, hey, wait a minute, I hacked it. Uh, I didn't though, because I still have to press that. Well, what if there were four here? I can't hack it in such a way that that plate both gets pressed and all of these make it in here. But it's possible I want four there, so that that would, uh, the last one would press that and let those through. But yeah, at this point I don't have enough. Nobody can open that. All right, let's get four. Um, do I want four or two? If I had two, okay, so I can either do this with two or four. If I have two, then it means they will reverse. So the front one here becomes one back from the head. The back one here becomes the head, the, the frontmost in the entire queue of eight. If I have four, they remain in order. And I just split the middle ones here out to become the front ones here. Yeah, okay, so I think that's the easier thing to think about. All right, so, um, I think this is the point at which I can write my text document, um, express the, this as a system of constraints, and then solve it that way. So I'll be right back. All right, I think I got it. Let me make an attempt to walk through what I did. So I have a text editor up here. Uh, I've labeled each evil eye, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Actually, that's not technically what this means. Uh, that's the order that they'll be exiting here. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, whichever order I wake them up in. Um, so uh, those are the, the letters as they go in here. I'm calling this gate one, and I'm calling this gate two. So gate one has the order A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Uh, so having assigned those identifiers, uh, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, um, they're going to reshuffle for gate two into the order B, D, F, H, A, C, E, G. So um, in order to have them spaced properly, I want to... Um, I've, I've phrased this to be uh, spaced perfectly. They don't necessarily have to be. Some could occupy these empty spaces, but it was just easier to think about it such that evil eyes, when I hit this orb to stop to, uh, to activate these arrows, will exactly have, have one on each pressure plate exactly, basically. Um, so that should be fine. And... Right, so, so thinking of it that way... Uh, as I was saying, A, C, E, G, proceed. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So A, C, E, G do not go past the ortho squares and they proceed up here. They remain in the same order and queue up there. Then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, B, D, F, H, uh, continue through here, remain in the same order, queue up there, and become the front of the the list. Uh, so I guess this is kind of backward. Um, it starts here. This this is the front. This is the back. Uh, this is the front. This is the back. Anyway, so in order to get this spacing, these are the constraints at play. So B has to be a a lesser number, an earlier uh, turn order than A. Um, it has to be earlier because A B has to attempt to move here and be blocked by A. Um, 
and A has to successfully move there, um, basically. So to, to maintain that spacing, those, those are the constraints. And this is how they evaluate for that. So it's just less than, greater than, less than, greater than in this pattern. Uh, it was a little bit easier to think about it if I flip them all around so they're all one direction or the other. So I choose less than for that. Uh, could have been the other way, it doesn't really matter. So once I flipped those around, I alphabetized them on the left. Uh, then laid out a list. I just wrote here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And then evaluated each one of these constraints. So uh, here, let's. there's the solution, by the way. <laughs> um, so I would do like... Sure, let's see if this works as well a second time, because I basically went through this list once and then ended up with a sorted list. All right, so B has to be less than A, so I need to do, oops, I need to do this. All right, B has to be less than C. It already is, so that constraint's satisfied. C has to be less than A. All right, so let's do that. C has to be less than E. It already is. D has to be less than B. Uh, okay, so D has to go at least all the way up here. D was not involved in these constraints, so that's fine to do. D has to be less than C. It already is, great. D less than E, it already is. D less than F, it already is. F less than E, so just swap those two. Um, F less than G, it is. Uh, G less than E. All right, we can probably do that if that doesn't mess anything else up. And then I noticed that H is less than A, F, and G, and nothing else was involved with H, so I just stuck it at the front. H, D, B, C, A, F, G, E. H, D, B, C, A, F, G, E. So that's how I came up with this sequence. And if you go back through these constraints, they all evaluate to true at this point. All right, so back to full screen mode. And I have written um, that solution in front of me. So how that's expressed is we have, I guess I'll put labels on screen here. H, D, B, C, A, F, G, E. So that's the order I have to wake them. So A, uh, B is this one, uh, C is this one, D, D is over here, um, E is all the way over here, F is this one, G is this one, and H is this one. Okay, let's see if that all works. Spacing looks pretty good from at a glance, will they behave when I do this? Looks great. Okay, so that's all perfect as it is. So wait for briars. Those make their egress and get in there. Uh, yes, I want them to do that right now. Queue up all the way. You sit there. You do that. That's fine. I go here and allow this to happen. And then I go, uh, I wait a moment. Okay, there was enough space to do that. If this had to be spaced farther apart, this one might have ended up there before this one had, had ended up here. Uh, but the spacing works. So just wait. That does that. And now at this point, they should be in a different formation, but one that ends up with the same spacing. Perfect. Again, that's more perfect than necessary. Um, I could have a messy, uneven spacing here, but that's how you solve it and maintain the perfect spacing. So wait for briars. All right. And just let them all out. Fire traps activate. I go here and everything dies. Neat. All right. I enjoy that type of puzzle. Constraint evaluation is just fun to do. They all got burnt. They all got burnt eyes. They are eyes, so they all got burnt their entire body. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool, I got a third place. I could optimize that further because I know what order I want. Um, probably no reason to bother. Hey, is my first place still here? No one took it from me, so yes. Neat. <laughs> all right. Uh, remember this room being a little bit of work, so I'm not going to push my luck today. I'll just be happy with this fun process here. Um... That is how you solve a thing like this. Phrase it as a constraint problem, then just solve the constraints outside a drawed and bring it back in like that. And everything works great. All right, I'll see you next time to play with some water skippers.